we have here a TPS 5430 back converter this is configured to output a symmetrical output from a single voltage source and the output is adjustable we have uh, two pots here that one and that one for the positive and the negative output as you can see the output uh, filter configuration for this is a uh, CLC it has a capacitor here and uh, inductor filter and a capacitor there but on this uh, PCB the output capacitor is missing and so I got some other here the output capacitor have another one here as you can see the output capacitor is there but on this board it's missing this is rated at uh, 30 watts so about 15 watts per rail so 15 watts on the positive output and 15 watts on the negative output I have already one here it's already connected to our electronic load the maximum output for the negative rail is about 16 volts and the positive output it can still be increased but can still be increased a little bit more so it's a bit hard to do this with one hand see that this one reaches to 25 volts the small potentiometer is uh, very sensitive when adjusting and it's uh, a little bit brittle we have about 900 milliamps the side 900 milli there on the side let's turn it on the on and do about 15 watts per rail let's increase it to 15 watts 1 ampere that's 16 can you see that about 15 watts can you see that's about 15 watts so as you can see can output a dual 16 volts positive and negative 16 volts and our input is uh, 28 volts the ideal input voltage for this is at least around 3 volts higher than the output voltage so let's try adjusting it to 19 volts if the voltage is a little bit lower than the 3 volts the output ripple is a little bit high uh, for, before we lower the voltage let's look at the ripple ok so once see the ripple there it's around 20 millivolt to 30 millivolt That is with 15 watts load per rail 
Now we're going to adjust the input voltage to around 19 volts. Okay, that's so that's uh, 18.4 18.4 volts so look at that the ripple jumps almost uh, triple that's 84 millivolt now plus almost 90 millivolt So the output is 16 volts so we need at least uh, 3 volts uh, voltage difference for the ripple to to get to minimum now we have a 19 volts input and look at the ripple it's, it's lower now it's lower now it went back down to around uh, 20 to 30 millivolt So that is for uh, 16 volt output so for a 12 volt output so you need about 15 volts input for a 9 volt output you need about 12 volts input what's nice about this is <coughs> each of the rail can be set independently so you can set For example we can set the positive rail to 12 volts Help me pause first. But it's still uh, 15 volts. I want to set the positive uh, rail to 12 volts, but the looks like the this <coughs> small potentiometer is. I think it's damaged. It's very difficult to adjust it. So when adjusting this potentiometer. It's very brittle and easy to damage. You can only set to 13 volts because the small potentiometer is damaged now. So I'm gonna set the, the negative rail to. say 5 volts so you can see the uh, the two output rail the positive and negative can be set independently this is the positive, it's set to 12 volts and the negative is set to 5 volts. I think it can also be set to 3.3 volt for the powering microprocessor. Hello. Okay, so it's negative 3.3. back to 12 volts and see how much current can looks like I've killed the potentiometer on the Positive rail now.
Okay, I'm just going to leave the pasty braille at 14 volts because the pot is damaged and it's very difficult to adjust now. I'm just gonna leave the negative braille on the 12 volts. Okay, let's increase the current first. Same mode the one. So that's let's set to 15 volts so can have 15 watts on the negative rail okay that's about 15 watts Okay, we have 20 volts in port. That's 15 watts per rail, 30 watts. Connect the 60 watts. Okay, that's 30. Okay, hit the shutdown. So we cannot do. Let's try again, let's turn up the power supply Off, on Okay, looks like it, it's dead now So it looks like this only good for 15 watts per rail So if we got 15 volts output per rail can only do 1 ampere ok that's it for today thank you for watching see you next time it is available in ebay and aliexpress so here is the link for ebay it's about 11 pound 32 in ebay and that's coming from China. Okay, this is the AliExpress link. It's about half the price. But remember that the price you see here does not include the tax from your country. So expect to pay a little bit extra during checkout. This is the IC used in the converter. It's a TPS 5430. If you want to know more about the uh, specifics of the IC, you can find it on the TI website or just search it on Google.